I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. In this lesson, I am going to show you how you can improve your results using the hue curves, or HSL curves in DaVinci Resolve. So in this particular shot, and I'm going to go to the enhanced viewer mode so I can zoom in a little closer. A common complaint is that the hue curves or HSL curves in DaVinci Resolve can be a little bit noisy. And I always tell people that nine times out of 10, it's because of an operational deficiency with DaVinci Resolve's sampling and not because the curve math is bad. In fact, the curve math is very good. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've got this shot of this woman, and maybe I want to shift the hue of her face just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take advantage of the fact that I can just click and drag anywhere in the frame to automatically add a set of three control points to any hue curve. So, the outer two points are meant to lock off all the other hues from being changed, and the middle point, which is selected by default, is there to allow me to actually make a change. So let's say I want to make her green for some strange reason. If I zoom more closely into her face, you can see what people tend to complain about. There actually is a lot of blotchiness in this particular sample. This is not because the curve is bad. This is because by default, whenever you drag to sample a region of the picture, DaVinci Resolve always places these outer two control points that lock off the other colors too close together, in my opinion. And by doing this, it means that I'm sampling just a very narrow width of color and excluding these pixels here. So this is actually incredibly simple to improve. All I need to do is hold the shift key down and click outside of these two default lockoff points to drop new lockoff points on the curve that basically include a wider width of hues. And once I've done that, all I need to do is right click on the original lockoff points and just like that, you can see a lot of improvement. Now, I probably want to include a little bit more red, so I'll just shift click and delete. And now all of a sudden I have a much smoother, cleaner adjustment that's still pretty narrow. So that's the tip before you start complaining and tearing your hair out about sampled hue curve adjustments being terrible, make sure you go in and widen these lockoff points and chances are you're gonna end up with a much better result. I'm Alexis Van Herkman, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about color grading in DaVinci Resolve, I strongly recommend you check out my grading in DaVinci Resolve title from Ripple Training.